Tyler Breeze comes in. He um drop kicks Roman. He beauty shots AJ Styles so fucking hard that AJ is spinning in midair before he hits the floor. Oh my god, I've never seen a beauty shot so so fucking well. And I'm normally not the type to just mark out over selling. The only time I ever marked out over selling was when Dolph Ziggler stole Zack Ryder's Rough Rider. But there again, that reaction to the beauty shot was beautiful. <laughs> that aside, Tyler Breeze has a strong showing being chumps both of them up before they eventually eliminate Tyler. How they eliminate Tyler? Um, AJ Styles had Tyler up on his arm. Looks like he was about to AA Tyler out of the ring. Then Roman punches AJ Styles, makes AJ Styles drop Tyler Breeze. Luckily for Tyler Breeze, like, I'm lucky if Tyler Breeze somehow drops him outside the ring rather than in it, like the punch should have been, but whatever. After this, we hear the social outcast music, and all four members end up at the ramp, which is odd because we assume that all four of them win the Royal Rumble, but whatever. Anyway, the social outcasts are all there, and everyone's like, who's in it? Who's in it? Who's in it? And then they all, then Keith, um, Keith, Adam, and Bo all just turn and point at Axel before Axel runs in the ring. And Axel has a surprisingly strong showing, beating down both Roman Reigns and AJ Styles before eventually they end up throwing Axel out the ring. So once again, it's just AJ and Reigns in the ring. I thought this was going to go on for a lot longer, but lucky for me, Jericho came to save the Royal Rumble. And the three of them brawl for a while. And at this point, I can't remember tick for tack what happened, but... I know Goldust was the next person in. Um, and there were some more entrances. So let's just move on to the important shit that happened. Um, Kane comes in and looks strong. Harper comes in and looks decently strong. Braun Strowman comes in and eliminates Gold. Wait, what? Was it Goldust? No, Braun didn't eliminate Goldust. Titus O'Neil eliminated Goldust. Braun eliminated a bunch of people. Point is, Braun looked fucking dominant. He eliminated Kane. He eliminated Big Show. And when Mark Henry eventually joined, he eliminated Mark Henry. They were going out of their fucking way to make Braun Strowman look strong. Anyway, um, Kevin Owens comes in, and Kevin Owens is the one that ends up eliminating AJ Styles. In quite beautiful fashion, too, because before he eliminates AJ Styles, he just goes, Welcome to the WWE, and just tosses him out the ring. I don't know why, but that 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 that, that just seemed beautiful to me. He's like, Welcome to the WWE. Get the fuck out. <laughs> that aside, Kevin comes in, eliminates him. Um, Dean Ambrose comes in. Brawl, brawl, brawl. Sami Zayn comes in. The IWC are jacking off furiously now. As Sammy Zayn eliminates Kevin Owens. Oh, right. Sammy Zayn was one of the people Braun Strowman eliminated. Yeah, Braun eliminated Sammy. Um, that aside, um, so yeah, all the Wyatt family end up in the ring. They dominate, start eliminating people left and right. I believe Tyson Neal was one of those people as well. But, who cares? Oh, by the way, before the Wyatt families take over the ring, as Roman was getting beat up by somebody, the um, League of Nations comes out, yanks Roman from under the bottom rope. They just beat down on Roman. Roman gets super kicked by Del Rio, gets super kicked by Rusev. He gets rogue kicked by Sheamus. And Rusev does a rugged splash through the table onto Roman Reigns. And of course, this entire time, I was yelling at the screen, Put him back in the ring and throw him out, you dumbasses! But they didn't. And Roman Reigns ends up going to the back. Essentially guaranteed he's going to come back, so let's be real. If you're a WWE fan, if you've watched this shit, you know the only reason they did that was that Roman Reigns came back later on. Now, back to the White family dominating the match. The White family eliminate everyone except for... <coughs> Chris, well, by the Wyatt family, I mean everyone except Bray. 
They eliminate everyone except for Chris Jericho, Dean Ambrose, and The Miz. In the case of The Miz, he technically wasn't even in the match yet because he just stayed over at ringside with the announced team because The Miz is smart. So yeah, they decimated everyone else. Then all of a sudden, bam, 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 the beast, Brock Lesnar, has come. And then it finally made sense why they gave Wyatt Family Control to make Brock look strong. Brock decimates them. Suplex to Harper, suplex to Roman, close lines and knees to Braun because he's not strong enough to suplex him. But it doesn't matter. Brock decimates, close lines Eric Rowan out of the match like a bitch. And then, um, fuck, some, I don't remember who was the first fool to come out. But some unlucky scrub comes out. He goes right for him, Brock, and Brock's like, Oh, <laughs> aren't you precious? Bye-bye. And then Kofi Kingston comes out, and the same happens to him. But, instead of Kofi outright getting eliminated, Kofi is caught by Big E. And Kofi's just chilling on the outside, watching this from Big E's shoulders. As he should have stayed for a while, but whatever. Anyway, more brawling, more brawling, more brawling. Huh. Wait, am I remembering this in the wrong order? Okay, I don't know where I fucked up, but I fucked up somewhere in this. Not with what happened, but with the order. Because now I'm remembering what happened with Roman Reigns and were attacking him. And during the time that Roman Reigns was being attacked by the League of Nations, Kofi Kingston then got eliminated by Chris Jericho off camera because they were supposed to have Roman Reigns attack. Which is odd, because I could have sworn Roy's attack happened before Brock entered, but whatever. Point is, at some point here, I fucked up. That aside, shit continues to go down, and Brock eliminates all of the White family. And then, we get Bray's music. Bray comes out, but it doesn't matter, because Brock decimated. Of course, unluckily for Brock, Bray doesn't care about rules, and the Wyatt family hops up under the ropes, even though Brock will make each and every one of them. Oh, and if anyone cares about the order, it was Eric Rowan first, then Luke Harper, then Braun Strowman. That aside, the Wyatts decimate Brock Lesnar and toss Brock out of the match. And then idiotically leave, even though Bray's still in the match and they're still needed. That aside, Dolph comes in. Del Rio comes in, Sheamus comes in, <laughs> people are thrown over, I can't remember who's thrown over who, let's get this crap, um, then, time to play the game, everyone on the internet called this, and they were right, Triple H comes in at number three. Then Dolph runs at Triple H because he got pedigreed like a bitch. And then Bray runs at Roman Reigns only he gets speared like a bitch. And then Roman Reigns and Triple H go at it. Roman gets the advantage. Nor should I can't remember. Chris Jericho gets eliminated at some point during all this crap. Then Dolph Ziggler gets eliminated at some point during this crap. Then we're down to the final four, which is once again a tag team match situation. We have Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns standing across the ring from Triple H and Sheamus. And yes, Sheamus was helping Triple H the entire time. At one point, Dolph actually almost eliminated Triple H. And I now remember how Dolph got eliminated, because Dolph was actually eliminated by Sheamus. Dolph super kicks Triple H, knocks Triple H over the ropes, super kicks Triple H, Triple H manages to hang on, he super kicks Triple H again, Triple H still manages to hang onto the ropes. And then as he goes to take out Triple H, Sheamus is like, oh, hey Dolph, about that. Whee! Out of the ring, Dolph goes. 
That aside, we got Dean and Roman versus um, Triple H and Sheamus. Dean launches Triple H over one rope, while Sheamus launches Roman over another. Then the separate brawls start happening. And then Dean Ambrose and Sheamus start fighting, but Sheamus is knocked down Roman Reigns, and Dean's knocked down Triple H. I know, surprising. It's the two scrubs of each team that somehow get the upper hand. And Dean and Sheamus are now going at it. Sheamus goes for a bro kick to take Dean out. But Dean ducks the bro kick, and Sheamus ends up bro kicking himself over the rope and almost out of the match. And then... Dean goes to knock him off, but Sheamus punches Dean away, only to get Superman punched by Roman Reigns, falling out of the ring. And then Triple H comes from behind Roman Reigns and flips Roman out of the ring. So now we're down to the final two, Triple H and Dean Ambrose. And at this point, I marked the fuck out. I knew damn well what was going to happen, but the mark in me. It felt it. It wanted the asylum to run loose. It wanted Dean to win. Well, you know what's gonna you want. Dean knocks Triple H over the ropes. Dean drop kicks Triple H. Dean goes to knock Triple H out of the ring, but Triple H elbows Dean. He comes in and he flips Dean over himself, launching Dean out of the ring. Triple H wins the Royal Rumble match and is your new WWE World Heavyweight Champion, surprising no one. So yeah, internet wrestling community, we called it. We called that shit. Nice job. Honestly, I'm kind of, I'm, I feel bad, I'm, I, mean, I feel like an idiot for not realizing it myself. Mainly because the entire time, I was paying attention to who I knew was in the match and still hadn't come out, and I thought, why is Wade Barrett going to be number 30? But I realized, oh god, it really is Triple H. Triple H is number 30. <laughs> Because the League of Nations and Triple H are the last, well, not the League, entire League of Nations, Del Rio, Sheamus, and Triple H were the last three people to enter. So I'm just like, okay, so I know it's going to be Del Rio, Sheamus, and Barrett. So I thought Barrett would be 29. Then Sheamus comes out 29. I'm like, why is Barrett not be Oh my god, it's Triple H. So yeah, I kind of saw it coming, but. Doesn't matter. Who, who cares what I saw coming? The point is, it was a fucking awesome pay per view. The Fatal Four match was decent, and my, one of my favorite wrestlers won, so that was a big deal for me. The Last Man Standing match was pretty damn good, in my opinion, at least. Lots of toys, lots of beating each other up. The tag match was decent. Any match where I can see Big E's Suicide Spear actually work is a good match in my eyes. Not to mention we had um, Xavier Woods' point of badassery. The match between Del Rio and Kalisto was alright, I guess. I mean, Kalisto was in it, so it's by default good. Seriously, Kalisto can make any match look good. Becky versus Charlotte was predictable, but I suppose everyone else loved it because... Which actually kind of explains why Sasha hasn't been coming out with Team Bad lately. It's to get her nice and solo so that she can do her whole thing with Charlotte. That aside, the Royal Rumble match was fucking amazing and I loved it. And my only regret is that Kane got eliminated by fucking Braun Strowman. <laughs> Kane, why won't you ever win? Also, it's kind of depressing that both Jack Swagger and Mark Henry won their in the match. Only to get eliminated immediately for both of them. By the way, that reminds me, I remember who that poor sap that took on Brock only to be eliminated instantly was. It was Jack Swagger. Oh my god, Swagger, you won only to be decimated by Brock Lesnar immediately. Uh, anyway, that's it for our own pay-per-view. Hope you guys enjoyed this recap. <coughs> I'm going to go make myself some tea so that my nose doesn't fucking kill me. This is YouTube.